My name is Suhas. I am a full-time classroom student of Sri Jaitanya. Sri Jaitanya study materials are very helpful. I have only prepared Sri Jaitanya study materials for the last two years. They have helped me crack J mains and J advance. Weekly we used to write two grand test papers and after each paper we used to review our mistakes and find out what had gone wrong in the examination. After reviewing the mistakes, if we still couldn't solve any question, we used to go to our faculty. They used to clarify the whole concept around the question and not just the question, which was very helpful in cracking the final examination. If we had any doubts during the classroom session, we used to ask it immediately and the teacher would clarify it. If we got doubts in the study hours, we used to wait till next day till the faculty came or sometimes the faculty used to be there and we used to clarify it. The best way to start any examination is with chemistry, at least that's what I think. When you start with chemistry, I would say that you give at least 30 to 40 minutes for chemistry. Then you move on to physics or maths according to whichever subject you think is best for you. And this is my preference. I would suggest that you try all your orders maths, physics, chemistry in every way and then see which order suits you best and then follow it in the final examination. Time management is unique for each person. I used to follow this method. I started with the easy questions and then I used to solve the tougher questions because if you don't have a time at the end, it's better to miss one tough question rather than two easy questions because it takes the same time to solve two easy questions and one tough question. I have solved more than 70 grand tests in the ending stages of my preparation but I would suggest that you solve at least 50 grand tests in the past 10 previous year papers. Towards the end of my preparation, I wrote many grand tests, at least 2 or 3 grand tests per week. And writing grand tests is a very important part of any aspirant's preparation because only through grand tests you realize what you can do wrong in final examination. After every grand test, you have to check what mistakes you have done and make sure that you don't repeat those mistakes again. If you make sure that you don't repeat the same mistakes in final examination, you will become the best person of yourself and reach your goal. All the best for your preparation. Thank you Sri Chennai for the success that I have received. I thank my parents and friends for being supportive all the time. Thank you Sri Chennai.